minutes. This is uh, a message in my five minutes of uh, wisdom um, series. So um, here we go. Uh, Heavenly Father, please um, put your words in my mouth today, Father. This is an important message because there's so many out there that are worshiping idols, Father. So I pray for them, Father. I pray that everyone who hears the sound of my voice receives this message, Father. And please, Father, um, let, let them be your words. And in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. I love you and I praise you, Father. Amen. Okay, friends, so um, quick story. Uh, the other day I was out with a friend, and um, I'm not going to tell you too many details because I don't want to uh, give away my friend's identity too, but uh, I was in a, a storefront and uh, with my friend, and, and um, we were done with our, our business there, and I noticed on the floor there was a little shrine with a Buddha and a whole, you know, Buddha setup as they do with incense and a drink offering, and there was dollar bills draped over it and, and what have you. And um, I knew immediately that I was going to have to say something because as a prophetess, that's my job. I need to call out these errors in the world. And, um, and uh, I knew the Lord had his hand on me right then and there. But uh, the Lord in all his goodness at least lets me choose my own words. Amen. So, um, you know, uh, I braced myself because... <laughs> You know, I just want you, you all to know that um, this is not an easy job. If you have any friends, if you know anybody who's a prophet or prophetess, typically we're, we're outcasts because um, we're not very well liked because, you know, we have to bring correction to the body of Christ. But, you know, we do it with love and um, rebuke is the love language of heaven. Amen. So anyway, so I thought for a second about what I would say and, and, and it came to me and I said, OK, it's so simple. And so I had just given the person behind the counter a, a huge tip. So I said to the person, I said, you know, I said, that thing down there, that's dead. I said, that can't do anything for you. I said, but the living God, that's the one who just gave you the big tip that I gave you. And I just left it right there, just hanging just dropped a seed right there for that person. And my friend practically dragged me out of the office and said, Liz, you, you can't say things like that. You have to respect people's religion. And I was like, no, I can't, man. I can't because it's my job. It's my job to speak the words the Lord puts in my mouth. If any one of these people doesn't make it into heaven, if any one of these people hears from Jesus, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you. It's on me. Heavenly Father will hold me personally accountable because I had the opportunity to speak to them. Amen. So friends, if you ever have the opportunity to correct somebody, don't be afraid. And especially if you feel that urge, that's oftentimes Holy Spirit. And if you're out there worshiping idols, friends, there's only one living God. That's the God, the creator of the universe, our Heavenly Father and His beloved Son and the Holy Spirit, the miracle worker. So friends, please right now take Jesus into your life if you don't already have Him. It starts with a very quick and simple prayer. Dear Jesus, please come into my heart. Please come into my life. I want to know you and I want to know the truth. Please reveal yourself to me, Jesus. Amen. That's it. That's all you have to say. Especially if you're an atheist, just say that prayer because friends, if you're an atheist, but what if you're wrong? What if there is God? And what if you end up in hell burning for eternity? It can't hurt to ask to see if there really is God. Amen. Okay, friends, coming up on four minutes. You all have a blessed day. Heavenly Father, bless all my friends. And friends, I love you. God loves you. Be blessed. Bye now.